I, I hate you! <laughs> I'm gonna have to block that out, or maybe maybe I won't. Well, who knows? Oh, new way. Oh, we're not really. Okay. It's, Hi. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hi, I'm Eli. I'm Jack. We're Ace and Casey, and we're back with another movie chat. Wow, that, that worked. That worked! Yeah. Yay, we did it. Yeah. Woo. Faster than last time. So today, we are going to be doing Captain America Civil War. The movie review! The, the Basically my favorite movie of the year so far. <laughs> yeah, pretty much mine too. Uh, wait, yeah, Devil was last year Christmas, right? Uh, no. It was... It was March? It was March, It was right? February. February. It was February this year. I don't think See, we were like... he was like alluding to Christmas, so... Oh, whatever. whatever. It, it wasn't even during Christmas. It was like somewhere in April. <laughs> Honestly, that's because it's Christmas. All right, anyways. Um, so, oh, yeah. De I don't think we need to review Deadpool. Deadpool, we loved it. Oh, and my God. It had it flaws, but whatever. It was awesome. Anyway, yeah, that's over. Woo! Rub up, you over. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay. So, Captain America Civil War focuses on Captain America, who's on the side of, we should not work for the government if we want to keep superheroing. And Tony Stark's like, yeah, we should. And then they grab a bunch of heroes, and they fight. Not as much as we would have liked, but to you know to be fair, but they, but what they haven't was. introduced too many solid heroes to have True. it bigger, you know. But overall, we loved it. Oh my gosh, yes! I want to start off with the cast. Oh yeah, and please. my favorite. I'm gonna start off not well. I'm gonna start off with the with the basic people. You know, Iron Man, uh, Tony Stark, R Robert Downey Jr. plays a fantastic Iron Man. Chris Evans makes a perfect. Uh, perfect Captain America, and everyone else just does the same. Yeah, just do but this. to move with the new characters, yes, Black Panther. Who plays him again? Shoot. Oh, um, crap. I, no, I, I know this. Um, no. it's uh, oh crap. I don't remember. No, this isn't right. Um, okay, okay. Um, pause. we're just gonna pretend. Actor who plays Black Jesus. What the hell? <laughs> Chadwick Boseman. That's his name. Ah, oh, I just got to it. Chadwick Boseman. Yes. All right, so yeah, he was perfect. I felt like that's his role. It's beautiful. His I thought his accent. I know it's fake, but I mean his, his accent's perfect. Well, I mean that's I think that's how they talk in that country. Yeah, right? yeah, obviously. I mean so, the accent's I mean, spot on. I mean obviously, yeah. And also just I, I feel like Black Panther is like that different type of superhero. Like he's not that quick with the quips type. He's just more like serious. But yeah, because what we, what in he some comes of the, with is funny. And some of the animated. So in the animated series, Black Panther was kind of like always about the mission, you know, while everyone was like fooling around and stuff. Yeah. I don't know if you've seen any of them, but uh, yeah, I loved him. It was perfect. Oh, and then there's Spider-Man. Oh my god. No, I need to talk about okay. that. Okay. Okay. So, you know how like Tobey Maguire was, you know, okay as Spider-Man. He got us into the movies. And then Andrew Garfield, I feel like, was more of the hyperactive type, but he still needed that nerd in him. Yes. Tom Holland, perfect. Perfect Spider-Man so far. I, I I don't care what other people say that they say he's too young, but like that's no, that's not. his role. That is Spider-Man. That's how he starts off of. He's supposed to be a kid, and Tom Holland gets the nerd side of him and the smart side of him, and he also gets that quick with the quips Spider-Man. Exactly. And like, oh my gosh, he is he's perfect. <laughs> that's all I need to say. He's and perfect. if we kept with either Tony McGuire or Andrew Garfield, then they would have been like. These weird, awkward adults still playing child roles or uh, teenage yeah, roles. Yeah, because that, that was my problem with Andrew Garfield. Like, I did not believe that he was a high schooler. Yeah. And, like, he, he was, like, taller than all the people that bullied him. So that <laughs> yeah, was weird. That was so funny. But, um, so, yeah, Tom Holland, perfect. Oh, and the costume. I love it. Complete. Same with Black Panther. Complete comic oh, accuracy God. right there. Yes. And the eyes move and everything, but at least there's a reason why they move. Like, it's yeah. all machine mechanical or something oh yeah Tony Stark Tony Stark makes the costume so I'm cool with that obviously it's gonna move or do something fancy and it's not like magic eyes like Deadpool but Deadpool had a reason whatever <laughs> <laughs> okay. no that was that's different <laughs> yeah, yeah. okay is there any other characters we uh oh how about Baron Zemo what do you think of Baron Zemo Baron Zemo you know I see so many villains now some that don't even have Meanings. I see some with like Loki who don't really have a main theme for doing what they want to well, do. Well, his and then is... I see some who just do whatever. And then I see some who have backstories. So I don't really get too much out of 
out of the villain. I like the actor who played him. I do. Um, but... I, I liked his approach at trying to divide divide uh I think I, the I Avengers cuz I mean it took a while I mean that was a long plan but I liked it yeah yeah I did I like the actor who played him and you know probably people are disappointed that he didn't wear that purple mask but if he did that kind of would have looked ridiculous in the real world <laughs> so <laughs> probably that, they were trying to keep realism with the comic book accuracy so I get that but also his like full plan that he had to go through that was not his first plan his first plan was just to get the information, but he that guy that Hydra guy was being selfish, so he had to go through all oh, of that. Yeah. But the way he did it, yeah, it took a lot of luck, but I feel like it was kind of clever, and he kind of succeeded in the end. Yeah, yeah, I saw this one thing. It was like big plot holes. His whole plan depended on Iron Man coming. That and is. That was like a last <laughs> minute is, decision. It that was, is so true. It was a last minute decision of him going. It's oh crazy. my gosh. Uh, just, I, I you just imagine he's like, he's just sitting there, he's like, one, two, wait, is, uh, is Iron Man coming yet? No, no, we, we had a fight, we're after you. Can we just wait like ten minutes? Maybe <laughs> he might show up. <laughs> that, I think that should be in how it should have ended. Yes, I hope I, so. I, I hope they make that. <laughs> uh, any other characters we need to talk about? Uh, how about Sharon, you know, we've seen... how about Sharon Carter? Sharon Carter. Yeah, she plays a good. She plays a good Sharon Carter, or yeah, whatever. I don't. What did you think? Of, what did you think of that kiss, though? A kiss. Oh, I love, I love the. I love the. Like with the uh, the Falcon and Falcon and Winter Soldier. He's like, can you move your seat? No. No. <laughs> They're still like going head to head. No, I'm your best. No, I'm his best friend. No, I'm his best friend. Oh my friend. god, yeah. And it it works. It's. <laughs> <so funny. laughs> Well, but, no, I'm his boyfriend. What? Uh, nothing. <laughs> but um, I like her. I liked the, the whole cast. I thought the cast is perfect. Oh, what about uh Martin Freeman's character? Martin Freeman. Yeah, I I was glad to see him because he's one of my favorite actors because he does a great job in The Hobbit. He does well. I heard a great job in um, what's that show called? Sherlock. Oh yeah, he did that too. But yeah, I love him in that. What's that show that he did? It's like, it's like based somewhere in Alaska. I forgot what it was. Man, that kill, that's gonna kill me. But he was good. He was a great actor. Yeah. So I did like his character a lot. I feel like I feel like he's trying to be the new Coulson, because or not his character. Probably. Yeah, not, just like his not his character. character, but just like the way he acts. I just feel like that's kind of what Coulson does. Well, yeah, but we don't have a Coulson, which or do we? I know Disney. No, ABC. Hey, oh, yeah, Go ABC. watch Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Tuesdays on ABC. <laughs> We're not giving free advertising. Fine, I'll cut it out. Oh, wait, I didn't. <laughs> Jerk. <laughs> not sponsored. Anywho. Okay, so, yeah, the cast was good. Yes. Okay, um... I think now we should move into the story. Okay, yeah. Uh, spoilers, I guess? Spoilers. But whatever. Like, how have you not seen it? Come on. Come on. Oh, my... I was at a comic book store... The guy who's at the front desk, he still hasn't seen it because he was so busy. What? Yeah, he's he's been d- trying to get a break so that he can actually see the movie. Oh, my God. And I'm like, what? No way. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, side story, whatever. Okay, so the story, it's not completely comic book true. Ac- it's not comic book true, true at all. <laughs> well, it's a little bit because the government is trying to butt in on what they're doing, so it's sort of true. But I wouldn't say on like... all superheroes, just mainly on the Avengers. Yeah, actually, that's really true. But... I think the Russo brothers said um, that they didn't. They they took the idea of civil war, but not the story. Oh, okay. Which I guess, in a way, I think that we was. Could, a, we could. It was a smart move for that. Like Russo brothers, they know how to make good movies. Oh my gosh! Yeah. The only problem though with their movies, though, like even with Winter Soldier, I got like such an unsatisfying ending. Like, I don't know how, but yeah. it's just with these Marvel movies nowadays. Like, I'm not left with much satisfaction. It like builds up everything and then it's like it's just such like a it's such like an incline going, 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 and then at the very end just tanks. It just, just stops. Like this movie made me want more to the story. I wish it was like a second part. I exactly they should have had Captain America Civil War, then Iron Man Civil War. Iron Man Iron Man uh, That would have been weird. I don't even know what you call it. <laughs> but 
But, um, yeah, so what did you think? Uh, maybe you should go into certain parts. Certain parts, okay. Okay, but also, um, overall story, you loved it, right? Yes, I loved it. I loved, uh... You you didn't really like this too much, like what part? The 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 fonts. Oh yeah, like the the, the big in your face titles like Berlin, nineteen thirty eight, snowy place. I just Earth <laughs> Queens make birth. <laughs> what what what? Anyways, uh, yeah, I I just felt like that was a little in your face. I mean, there were some points where it did, but like when it said nineteen ninety one, I was like, oh, that's that's new. But uh, I think it was I liked to, to get, be getting I, a lot with like Bucky and all that. I, my sister, I watched it with my sister. It was so weird. The first scene that showed Winter Soldier stopping, you know, uh, Howard Stark's car. My sister literally called out. She's like, "Are those, that's Iron Man's parents, aren't they? I'm like, how would you know that? And then she's like, wait, they are? I'm like, oh, crap. <laughs> I spoiled it. In my, but she knew it. I was like, how? Doesn't it, make okay, sense. in my mind, I was like, wait a second. Is that, is that the Stark's car? And I was like... No, no, they wouldn't. They wouldn't show that, would they? And then later, as it progressed, like when it went to Tony revealed that that Bucky actually killed his parents, I was like, "Oh my god! Oh, oh! I called it in my head! Oh my gosh!" My sister like just threw it down like that's that's Stark's parents. I was like, "What?" Anyways, uh, but, uh, but going on that, I want to say that uh, Robert Downey Jr. is acting like during that part. Like, oh my gosh, that. I think that was like at the end. Or like, you, oh my god! Yeah, like all that. of that building up to him, and once he revealed that the killer of his parents is standing right next to him, all that emotion is just going out. Yeah, it and then crazy. even to make it even worse, Captain America knew that. Oh my god! He did. I just hate how he does that sometimes. So he, he knows something and just doesn't did you, tell him. Did you know? I didn't know it was him. Don't bullshit. Did you know? That was and perfect. he's like, yes. And then he's like. Screw you! I'm gonna kill this guy. Pushes him, <laughs> oh slaps God. him. That epic fight. And they did that famous scene too, where uh, Iron Man shooting his repulsor is at Captain America's shield. Oh, I sh- love how they just pause it for a moment, just let the fans. Sh- it's like here you go, fans. You ask. Just for bask it. in this glory. <laughs> we know how to do you right. <laughs> Take that easy. Anyway. Uh, oh my god. Oh, okay. Also, uh, yeah, you said uh, there's some. There's, there's one thing one, you did not like. One thing I did not like. You know, this is one of their deepest, a little bit, kind of their darkest storylines because they're fighting each other and they're friends and they, you know, they fight the bad guys, not themselves. And that they whole airport year, fight, but... the whole airport fight just seemed like they were all treating it like a joke. Um, Which I didn't like. I that seemed to be a little like more a serious. Joke. The ending fight was perfect. There was no joking emotion. Nothing was held back. You can see that. You can see in the airport fight, it was a little jokey here and there. I know you have other thoughts, but that's just mine. And, you know, I said I wanted to also go back to Batman v Superman. I feel like they did the inverse. Civil War should have been a little more serious on that fight, whereas Batman v Superman, you can hardly take that fight seriously. Yeah. But anyway, I mean, I mean that's all I have. In defense for the uh, airport scene... Like, they're not trying to kill each other. Well, yeah, but they're trying to stop them. Yeah, they well, they are trying to stop them. Like, holy crap. Um, but, like, they're, they still want to not hurt each other that much. So that's why it's just not that, I wouldn't say dark and serious. Yeah. Like, in the very final fight scene, like, Tony's out for blood. That's why I think oh, it was yeah. that serious. And that's why he didn't he didn't go with his uh, jokes as much. Okay. I but I think that, I think yeah. we should talk about the elephant in the room or the giant man in the room. Oh my god! What? Yeah. How did you react when giant man just boom? First off, I was just like, I I, ca- I saw it coming when he's like, I'm gonna, he's like he's like he's saying how he's only done this a, cer- a certain time, to- like he did a couple this one time, time in one lab. time in a lab. I was like. He's gonna grow. He's gonna grow. And then he does it. I'm like, yes! Oh my god, that's beautiful. And it's just, it's, once again, they were like pausing in that moment. Just, whoa, whoa. And then Spider Man's like, holy shit! Oh, I love that. Holy shit! <laughs> Let oh. go of my roadie. <laughs> yeah, I love that entire, that entire airport scene is just worth the price of admission alone. And like, <laughs> 
When did a uh, when did Hawkman or Falcon? Hawk- what the heck Hawk- am wait, I saying? Hawkman? Are we talking about Hawkeye or Falcon? Because I'm thinking of two different. Things. I know, I know, but I get confused. Is it Falcon? But yeah, since when did Falcon get so? Since when did Falcon get better than Captain uh than Iron Man? <laughs> that is true. When it's did, so ridiculous. It's like what? He has wings and like just a few other gadgets, but that's it. Did that but um that entire um airport scene like even Ant Man just going like Hey, okay, look, I don't want to hurt uh, you, like, Black Widow and he's like, I don't care. <laughs> oh okay, yeah, that hurt. <laughs> also, um I don't want to hit a girl. Like, uh, did you like you uh, about. when Spider Man did that Star Wars reference? He's like, "Hey guys, you remember that old movie, it's, Empire Strikes Back?" It's clearly Star Wars, by the way. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I was trying to go off of something, but then I forgot. How old is this kid? I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, that enti- I was like, okay, I hate the internet because they kind of spoiled this for me, like how he just wrapped around giant man's legs. Because they showed a picture of uh, like an ATA, ATAT, is that what they're called? The yeah. walkers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They had put Ant Man's face on it, and they showed uh, Spider Man on the thing that no. was on it. I was just like, are you kidding me? Why would you show that? Um, also, they put a giant man like figure in uh, one of the stores at the mall, and I'm like, no. Oh, good. Well, now I know Giant Man's in this. Great. Technically, it's still Ant Man. Well, yeah. But it's still giant, whatever. So now he has like two names or two personas. I don't know. It's confusing. <sighs> also, what what about um that um emotional part, Rhodey? Rhodey? Oh my God! I didn't see that coming at all. When he got hit, I was like, oh, he just hit him. But then like he only shot off the reactor, so he was still awake when he fell. I was like, holy crap! I thought that was a huge turning point. How Tony Stark was treating this? Oh uh, yeah, just like that. He hits so solid on the ground. I'm like, oh my god, like, he couldn't catch him. I was like, I think he might be dead. I know. And they were hinting at this so much in the trailers. Yeah. And they, but I feel like they wouldn't do it in the trailers. I'm like, no, they, they wouldn't like, do that. Tony, I'm sorry. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> finally, he gets a good hit on yeah, I, Falcon. I feel like Iron Man, uh, I think he deserved that. <laughs> Just like, I'm sorry. <laughs> shut up. Just shut up. Something else that made me mad. But like, it's not like It's not like a complaint that I have in the movie. It's like, it's actually probably a compliment because the mo- movie actually made me feel this way. Yeah, it made me actually hate the other side. It made me get annoyed at the uh, at um, Hawkeye, Falcon, all of them who were in the raft. Yeah, how like you know they were always like pro government and law, and then all of a sudden when Iron Man's talking about them saying you broke the law and like Hawkeye's like oh, yeah. the, law, the law, the law, like what are you talking about? You did break the law multiple times in this occasion. That that is true. That is true. Hawkeye was being a bit of a. Yeah, a but you know he, he is kind of that character, so I can also hate them, but applaud la, la, how they la, made la, it. La, la. I was la, like, la, la, la. Uh, d- d- dude, this is like out of your character right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, it, it, there was even that one moment where Scott's like, you know, Pam always told me you can never trust a Stark, and then Stark's like, who are yeah, you? Uh, who are you again? Oh, I, see. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Um, what else? In the, oh, what about like? Do you feel like it was a good enough reason for them to start the Sokovia Accords? Like how Wanda uh, threw it up in the air and then it exploded a bunch of... Like- I think it's almost like a shoehorn excuse. But, I mean, if you think if you think about it, if she hadn't done that, how many more people would have died on the ground? That is- Plus the loss of two superheroes. I feel like the explosion should maybe have been a bit bigger. Got yeah, maybe a bit more of the building with more people in it. Yeah. Then... But that's because, in my opinion. Yeah, because like in comparison to everybody else that was affected by all the other, all the other movies like in uh, Winter Captain America's Winter Soldier, the Avengers, Avengers Two, like like Sokovia was the biggest incident. Yeah, it wasn't. Uh, oh yeah, like the giant was? giant island dropping. Yeah, that was a huge. That was much bigger than what happened in. What, what was it, Wakanda? Uh, Where that was Sokovia. Or? Wait, it, that was in Sokovia? I, maybe? No, no, wait. Maybe it was Wakanda. I don't I don't remember. Because you remember how T'Chaka's, uh, King T'Chaka's talking about, like, he's talking Ooh, about all that stuff. You so mean the I live-action Lion King? Tucson? Tucson. Tucson. Fine. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um... What else then? I think there's something else I wanted to, um... 
talk about. Oh, yeah. General Ross. I feel like he's, like, one of the biggest hypocrites ever. <laughs> because in the incre- if you remember all the way back to the Incredible Hulk... He is the one He's that injected to... one of his soldiers with that super, that unstable super, super soldier. To get Hulk the Hulk, serum. though. But that was his main goal, to get the Hulk. No, his main goal in that movie was to make more and make it a Exactly, weapon. but from the Hulk. Because using that serum, he, didn't, he couldn't even harness the Hulk's true power. So he was just kind of using him. He kind of it advanced still... him so that he could have a better chance than the other soldiers. But I see what you're talking about, definitely. He, he injected that. He, he, was in, he was responsible for um, Harlem. That's Pretty funny. much. Oh, well. Remember, that, remember when he's play. showing all the damage that the Avengers caused? And I think there was one dot on Harlem. And like, you know, why don't you keep playing that? <laughs> Cause... Yeah, come on. Let's see who caused this. <laughs> yeah. Um... No, uh, New York. New York. Sokovia. Sokovia. Washington, D.C. Harlem. Oh, oh uh, uh, Sokovia. Uh, 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 Sokovia. <laughs> let's, let's ignore Harlem. <laughs> that, that, that totally wasn't my fault at all. <laughs> yeah, but I love how they kept that actor as General Ross because I guess that, that shows that he he was a, he plays a good Ross. Oh, yeah, he does play a good Ross. And I'm uh, waiting so to see Red Hulk. How are they going to explain the disappearing mustache? Oh, did it disappear? Yeah, like, in the comics and cartoons, like, when the Red Hulk, like, when General oh, Hulk, the yeah. mustache disappears. And then when he turns back again, the mustache reappears. How Maybe he much... No. And also, what Martin oh. Freeman's character is also called Ross. Do you think that they're going to make Martin Freeman's character the Red Hulk? Wait, so there's two Rosses? Yeah, like, there's the Hulk General Ross, and then Martin Freeman's character is also called something Ross. Hmm... That's that's something interesting. It depends because I know I know they haven't made a reboot of Hulk because they're just gonna stick with the Incredible Hulk because it's a decent movie. It wasn't too good. But it wasn't good. It but, wasn't bad. But they can use it for Phase One. So yeah. they use it for Phase One. So it depends on if they're gonna use that General Ross because that General Ross turns into Red Hulk. Yeah. That so I don't right. know if a if Secretary Secretary of State, uh, Ross mm. is went from General to Secretary of State. Which doesn't seem likely. Um, I don't know. Huh. Because they used to... That would be interesting. That would be weird, though, because they used the same actor for one Ross, but then, like, a totally different one for, <laughs> for the actual Ross. It's like, wait a sec. We got you, you just, comic book accurate you just, Ross. You just fooled the fans. That is, that is true. Wait, your name is Ross? My name is Ross, too. Oh, we're best friends. Oh, <laughs> oh we forgot to talk about the Martha thing. Oh, the... who cares? I, I don't even care. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Martha, whatever. I think it was been talked about to death, so it's probably oh my best God, God. Yeah. Okay. Um, in comparison to Batman v Superman, this one I think From is more stable. All the way, yeah, all the way here, yeah, because it's just a stable, solid story story throughout everything. Which and it's not like a transition or from a good to bad because Batman v Superman. From the beginning to halfway, it seemed very stable. We knew what was going to happen, and then. Once it went to the other half, we're like, we're just getting hit with all these things, and we we're getting dazed, and it's like, what's going on? And also, this, a standalone movie alone, it just seems like just one of those comic book movies that you could just watch, and you probably understand most of what's <laughs> yeah. going on. This is probably one of the best, because they're counting it as a sequel, not like a separate movie, so this is probably one of the best sequel movies I've seen in a while. And it's not like a transition to, say, Infinity War, it's not like just building up oh, to that. Oh, yeah. And I'm kind of glad it wasn't. Because it's not, it's not involving, you know, Guardians of the Galaxy, the Infinity Stones. It's just involving their conflicts. Exactly. And also, the way it, end, the way it ended, um, like, they, it left with more, like, Steve and Tony are like, well, it's, gonna, it's not, it's so going to take time. So now they don't hate each other? Well, well they don't they hate don't each other. Each he, other. Just hate, just, he just hates what he did. He doesn't hate him. Like, it left with more of a... Look, it's going to take time to uh, fully get back together, basically. Yeah, which is probably which, when why Infinity War comes, it's probably why Infinity it's War set so much far back. Cuz that for cuz now cuz they have to do uh they have to do uh Black Panther um does Inhumans come out before Infinity War? I think Inhumans comes after. The first part, right? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so yeah, you think so. you think we talked about it enough? 
Uh, is there anything else that you want to nitpick? Anything? Uh, no, I don't. I didn't really. I didn't hate it at, really much at all. Yeah, like even the stuff that we say didn't like, we kind of just went with. Yeah, we so, had. Yeah, good story, good version of the story. Because we're used to uh, Marvel kind of being a jokey, like comedy, kind of, like somewhat comedy action type movies. But well, they, you know, we're used to it now. So now that we see it, we're kind of like, okay. This so they, funny, they huh? know how to get serious. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, good story, good version of the story. Oh my gosh, yeah, a good uh, alternate. Great version, cast, right? great cast, like complete. <laughs> all I can't wait to see a um, Black Panther standalone movie. I can't wait for Black Panther, the actual Marvel home Spider Man Homecoming movie. Oh, yes. oh wait, one more thing, one more thing. Okay, before we go, what did you think of Aunt May? Aunt May, <laughs> her, her, her Benjamin Button disease, I'd say, but you know, they're basically gonna go with a whole new Spider Man with a whole new reboot. So I know. That. I guess, you know, fans are like we're so used to an old Aunt May, but for this kind of Spider Man, he's really young. So I think we need a younger Aunt May. So I'm gonna roll. With I mean, it. I get with it. How old is she? Is she like in her? She's late gotta 30s? be in her, thirties. Way too young. She's gotta be like in her late forties. Early 40s, maybe? Maybe, yeah. She seems really young. Also, okay, uh, one more thing. Favorite moment... Okay, just let's exclude the airport scene because okay. everyone talks about it. But besides the airport scene, what is your favorite moment? Oh, my favorite Like, moment. when you saw this part, you were like, Oh, oh awesome. this is so... Obvious, the introduction of Black Panther. Oh, yeah. It's my favorite part. Oh, that entire tunnel scene. Oh, yeah, that's the part. That's the part. That whole scene from introducing him with his costume till when they get captured. Your Highness. I want to know how they did that, running along the thing. I think they drove really slowly, but then sped it up, maybe? No, I think what they did was maybe they had, like, a green screen room with maybe, like, a treadmill. Because you can tell if their legs aren't moving as fast because it's kind of like this a little bit. So know. maybe, so maybe they put it in like a green screen and then they just kind of move the shot, or something. I don't know. It's really tricky. So your favorite moment was like the entire Black Panther scene. Yes. Like the well, do uh, yours. I'm gonna say, when Tony Stark is interacting with Peter Parker, that entire <laughs> oh yeah that entire interaction. I like that was, too. Me, that was my inner inner fanboy just going on. Oh, yeah. like, this is He's these like, are two of my favorite superheroes of all time. Yeah. Just talking to it, just talking to each other. And he's like, "I'm gonna sit here so you can move the leg." <laughs> <laughs> I love that. And he's going over like, "Hey, um, so I kind of maybe didn't do something that caused something, so it was technically my fault. That was his version of, with great power comes great responsibility. And Tony's like, you know what? I'm going to help you out. You seem like a great guy. Poor kid. You know. Have you ever been to Germany? Germany? Have you ever been to Germany? What? Oh, no, no, no. 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 I think it's like, you have a passport? What? Oh, uh, no. Have you ever been to Germany? No. Oh, you're going to love it. I, I, I can't, can't go to Germany. Why not? I, I, I have homework. I'm going to pretend like you didn't say that. <laughs> So that entire, even when, um, when Robert Downey Jr. said, all right, Spider-Man, I'm like, he said Spider-Man. Right, Spider-Man. That's like, he's in, he is in this universe. I am so happy. Get the webbing off me. <laughs> Get the stuff off me. Okay. Um, I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's so, it. Oh, great movie. Love the story. Favorite, favorite movie of the year so far. So far. We'll see what, um, any other movies coming out this year? Suicide Squad. Star Wars Rogue One. Oh my god. Oh wait, this Doctor movie, Strange is coming out. This year? This year. Oh we'll see. We'll see if this movie stays my favorite. We'll see. Because I love Doctor Strange. And I love Benedict Cumberbatch. Perfect actor. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. He he plays any role perfect. True, pretty much. Okay, so that's it. That's yeah. I think that's all we need to do. I think we've shown our love for this movie so oh much. Oh my gosh, yeah. Okay, um thank you for listening again. Wow. We it's so we are not saying watching. Thank you for listening in. So uh, if you like this, I'm just going to say video. Okay, so if you like the video, like it. If you want to share it with Facebook or Twitter or whatever that you have, then do that. And if you want to watch more videos like this or listen to videos like this, then click the subscribe button below. And who knows? Next time we'll talk about... I think we should talk about how to fix DC. Oh, 
Gosh, yes. I think, I think she was we are going to talk about how DC should organize their movie layouts and what they need to do. Yeah, because so. I, I saw a video like how Superman's not the right Superman so far, or he's not like as Superman as he could be. Mm, so, yeah, because... Yeah, because, uh... Wait, wait, wait. Let's save it for the video. Okay, yes, all right. So, uh, to sign off, I'm Eli. I'm Jack, and we're Ace and Casey, and we'll see you later. Or talk let up. Okay. Yeah, just... All right. <laughs> uh, my gallon of water. Uh, uh... That was so cool. <laughs>